The Apple credit card versus the SoFi credit card. Which one is better? I'm assuming you clicked on this video to get that answer, or you just wanna watch a good video about both these credit cards. Either or, this video was made to scratch that itch. So let's get into it. By the way, if you're interested in signing up for either of these cards, I will have a link below, but let's get into the video. So in this video, my objective is to go over both cards, the good, the bad, the ugly, the things that you would prefer from a car and the things that you wouldn't quite prefer, or maybe it's just not your preference of choice of car or like the fact that the Apple car is a metal car and the SoFi card is a plastic car. Is that important to the masses or your financial status or does it truly help you more than the other? Not at all, but some people just prefer a metal car over a plastic one, which clearly Apple will win in that category because it is a beautiful titanium card at that. But I just wanted to kind of get the speed of the video out the way. Stick around for the entire video to see which car I think is a little better than the other but for the most part i do like both cars let's get into those so as you can see from the beginning of the video you can see that i have both cars and everything that i say in this video is strictly my opinion and it's from my experience with the sofa car and the apple car a lot of people could have had a different experience with both cars and if you did i would like to hear about it comment below but in this video i'm going to use my personal experience with both cars and how i got it how i use it which one benefit me best in certain situations and it may be different from yours so just because my experience is different doesn't mean it isn't true or that's not the facts so keep that in mind i'm going to start this video off with the credit score that's necessary to be approved for these cars and take both of these with a grain of salt because it depends on a lot of different things it depends on all your credit factors like your credit utilization your credit payment history uh, all of them credit mix and all of those things play a factor in the credit score you actually have and being approved for either of these cars so for example i will use my experience i had a 620 credit score when i was approved for the apple car and that's a very low credit score it's not the worst in the world i've seen way worse i had way worse to be honest but 620 is the time i was approved for the apple car and when i got that car that was when i actually fixed a lot of the utilization problem i had with my credit so my utilization on my credit cards was extremely low when i got approved for the apple car so i think that's what brought my odds of approval way higher at 620. so say you have a 620 credit score but have a high utilization i think you still would be declined but just take all this information i'm saying with a grain of salt i was approved at a 620 credit score so i can say in real life they actually do approve people with a low credit score and for me it was an opportunity because i really was trying to rebuild my credit and i was trying to make it really good and the apple car helped me do so as far as the sofa car i needed a 670 credit score before i was approved for the sofa car meaning my credit score stood at good because once you hit 670 you hit the threshold of your credit score being good it even say that when you go for the pre-approval for the sofa car it lets you know that you need a good to excellent credit score before you could be approved for the sofa car which surfing the internet i've seen different people get approved at different scores lower than 670 but I would not advise it because I try at a lower score to be approved for the SoFi credit card because they only perform a soft pull whenever you go for the pre-approval, which is pretty cool. So if you wanted to see if you would get approved without harming your credit, it's completely fine with the SoFi card and the Apple card at that. But I try to get approved with a credit score under 670 and I was declined every single time. I only tried probably like three times under 670, but I was declined every single time. Once I hit 670 with a low credit card utilization, actually 0% credit card utilization at this point, I was then approved for the SoFi car. So as far as approval go, the Apple car will win that category simply because you can have a lower credit score with certain factors to your credit and you can be approved for the Apple car and it can start your credit card journey. So as far as beginner cars, I would throw Apple above the SoFi car because you do need somewhat of a good credit score to be approved for the SoFi car. Following up with your eyes of approval for both cars, a lot of people like to know of the credit limit. So my credit limit isn't that high. I'm not really too stressed about credit limits because I pay all my balances off in full either way. So I don't really need the credit 
So that's a good thing. That's always a plus. It only opens up the door for you to be in more credit card debt. So me personally, I don't mind having a lower limit, but both these cars do offer high credit limits. And the only reason why I know this is because of course I did my research before filming this video. And according to a lot of different people on the internet, these cars offer some pretty high credit limits. A lot of people claim to get a $20,000 credit line whenever being approved for the Apple car or the SoFi credit card, which is cool. You know, that's pretty cool for people that are responsible, but for anybody that's irresponsible, I could see that ending quite ugly but of course always pay your balances off in full and make sure you don't use your credit cards recklessly another point on top of that because this is a personal car you don't even really want to use over 10 percent of your utilization so keep that in mind whenever you do get a high credit limit it doesn't mean use the whole credit limit especially if you have a twenty thousand dollar credit line that's a pretty big credit line. I mean, if you're responsible, it's no big deal. But for those people who aren't, which unfortunately from the statistics, it show more people aren't responsible versus the people who are. And as far as the fees go, from my experience, both these cars are fee free. Although SoFi does charge late fees in certain instances, like if they receive your payment late. So keep that in mind. But as far as the Apple car go, truly haven't had any trouble with it as far as fees neither the SoFi card in my experience. As far as Apple go, to make it simple, no, they typically don't have a sign on bonus. Sometimes they send out one time miscellaneous tasks that you can do to get some form of a sign on bonus, but typically Apple never really give any offers. As far as the SoFi credit card goes, yes, they do offer sign on bonuses, but it varies depending on when you sign up for the card. So it could be $200 after you spend $1,500 within the first three months. Sometimes they offer 3% cash back for the first year if you sign up for SoFi Plus. So it all depends on when you sign up. Me personally, when I signed up for the SoFi credit card, they were not offering the $200 for the first $1,500 spent in the first three months. So I actually got the 3% cash back for the first year because I do have SoFi Plus because I also have the bank account, which if you want the bank account, you can just use the link below, which you do get a sign on bonus for that as well. But what I do know from the SoFi credit card, if you use my link below signing up for the SoFi credit card, you will get $50 when you are approved for the card. So check that out if you're interested and if you're going to sign up for it anyways, why not get an additional $50? Another thing about both these cars that I love and really I can't say which one is better, one better than the other, but the user interface. The Apple car has its specialties and the SoFi car has its specialties. So as far as the Apple car go, you know simplicity is key and Apple is the king of simplicity and their app is no different. It's straightforward to the point and it's kind of fun. I, I will admit that. but SoFi is right there with the fun format for their credit card and you got points and the point system I talk about in a video which I'll link over here is all about the SoFi points but me personally I like SoFi interface a little bit better now it is a little glitchy and it have moments where you put on the dark mode but it'll turn back to light mode and stuff like that but as far as functionality and as far as like the numbers and your your actual balances is always accurate is nothing glitchy about your actual money if that was the case uh it'll probably be a problem me personally i like the sofa interface way better because it like i said in the video is more gamified and you can gain points to various different tasks as far as apple go it's pretty straightforward they do have a savings account now which is 4.15 apy which is pretty cool but if you actually have the sofa bank account and you have direct deposit you have an offer to have a 4.5 percent apy bank account so so far got apple beat there as well so if you do have the sofi credit card and you do have the sofi bank with direct deposit you have access to that savings account that has the 4.5 apy which you could just send the money that you make from the points that you get from your credit card into that bank account and let that compound over time you could do the same with apple actually everything that you make from your daily cash can get straight deposited into your savings account if you set it up to do so which is a cool feature and i actually have that on my apple card so any money that i make from daily cash it goes straight into my apple savings account which i gain 4.15 apy clearly sofa offers a little more and you can gain a lot more money through the sofa points and of course you can gain more money from the higher apy bank account if you have direct deposit with their direct bank so 
I mean, it, to take it how you see it, me personally, I think so far win this category. And I really haven't gotten into all the things that each car offer in this video because I have made a couple videos on so far. I actually have one Apple video up here where I talk about it and much hasn't changed since that Apple video. But I mean, I'll talk a little bit about the specs, but realistically, for the most part, these both are cash back cars, so they cash back focus. If you're one of those people that like to travel a lot, then neither of these cars are really the best option. SoFi would be a better option than Apple because SoFi does have SoFi Travel, which if you use the SoFi credit card in the SoFi Travel portal, you get 3% cash back, which is pretty interesting. But for the most part, I wouldn't necessarily call it a travel card you know versus like american express gold card or the capital one venture x stuff of that nature those are more travel focused so neither of these i would necessarily put in the category of a travel credit card but more so cash back if your team cash back like me these cars are beautiful they play their role and that's just some of the things that both these cars offer and yes i probably missed a lot of details because this video isn't really geared around the specs and all the details of what these cars offer it's more so just my experience with both cars because everybody has a different experience with issuers so i can have a very good experience and somebody else can have a terrible experience so their review would be a little different than mine but personally between the two if i had to put one at the top that would have to be the sofi car because personally if i'm doing personal expenses i would most likely use my sofi car over the apple car but if you watch my channel you will see i have multiple cars and i do have businesses and i use my business cards actually more than any other car simply because majority of my life i do business type of stuff so it's always a business expense and it makes it easier at the end of the year when i'm doing my taxes to write off my business expenses if i do it under my business credit cards but if i do have personal expenses my sofi card is right there in my wallet or in my digital wallet i would put the sofi card at the top of the ladder but always do your due diligence before opening up a card do a lot of research and this is not financial advice this is just my opinion but with that being said i'll see y'all on the next one